Hi guys, this is Liz Kaneda from Sleek Lens. Today I'm going to be going over the hide and seek collection of Photoshop actions. So this collection comes with 78 actions and what you would use this collection for is outdoor photography. So anything that's, you know, outdoors, even if it's a portrait like the one I have right here. So we're just going to go ahead and get started. So I've already installed my hide and seek collection actions and I have the actions tab pulled up here. I like to keep mine here, but you can of course put it in here or move it around wherever you want. So for this photograph, I'm going to start first with a base retouch brush. And I'm going to be using the Brighten Eyes brush. So once you've selected the action, you're going to go ahead and hit play. And it's going to apply the action to the photograph. So for this, for pretty much all the actions in this set, um, you're going to want to go ahead and set your paintbrush up for it. So you, I've already gone ahead and done it, but you're going to hit your paintbrush tool right here, set it to normal, and you want to keep the opacity fairly low, but we will be adjusting it up and down depending on what we're doing throughout the uh, tutorial here. And then you want to make sure this one here is set to white. So what I'm going to do here is I've got, I'm using the 20% brush, not the 10% brush. So I've got this selected. I have the gray layer mask here. And I'm basically going to zoom in and I'm using this to basically brighten her eyes, exactly what the action says. So I'm going to just make my brush a little bit smaller, which you can do up here. You can change the size of your brush or I just use my bracket keys on my keyboard. And as you can see, I'm just using this brush to kind of brighten her eyes here. Okay, so once I've gone ahead and done that, I'm going to go ahead here and I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose flatten image, which is basically going to just flatten all the brushes and everything I applied to this photograph. And we're going to move on to an all in one tone tint action. So let me scroll out first. All right, so we're going down to our all in one tone and tint. And for this one, I'm going to be using the Wild West. Yeah. And then you're going to go ahead and hit play. And that's just going to go ahead and apply that to the photograph. But what I want to do is I want to turn the opacity down slightly because this is just a tad too dark and too colorful. So we're just turning it down a little bit. And then I'm going to go ahead and flatten the image again. And now I'm going to be using a color correct brush. So I did apply the all in one tone and tint Wild West, but as you can see, it kind of added a little too much color to her clothing here. So we're going to go ahead and fix that by going to our tone tint brush. Actually, it's not that one. I'm sorry. Let's see. Scrolling up here to the color correct brushes and I'm going to use the slight desaturate brush. So I'm going to hit play on that one. And what happens is you get these little pop up things here that actually give you instructions on how to use these. So this one's telling you with the black layer mask selected, you're going to use a soft white low opacity brush to desaturate basically whatever you want. And as I mentioned before, we did set those settings. So we've set the brush, have it on normal, a lower opacity and set to white. So what I'm going to do is turn the opacity up a little bit. One great thing to do with your brush is make sure you have a brush selected with a kind of a feather around it. You don't want something with a sharp edge. So I've gone ahead and done that. So I have the black layer mask selected and I'm just going to make my brush bigger. And I'm just going to kind of run this over her clothing here. And you can't see much of a difference. So I am going to turn the opacity up a little bit. You'll be able to see more of a difference in the desaturation here. And then I'm going to use it on her hat here. Right, and as you can see in the layer mask here, you can see everywhere that I've actually applied the brush. So, right, so I'm going to go ahead and flatten the image. Now I'm going to be going to my portrait retouch tools. So it's great that these retouch tools are incorporated in this package because even though it is for outdoor photography, as you can see, we do have outdoor photography that has portraits or has a portrait subject in it. So I'm going down to my portrait retouch tools and I'm going to be using the basic retouch. So I'm going to go ahead and hit play. 
This is the same reminder just to use the white brush set at a lower opacity. So I'm going to turn the opacity down for this. And you don't have to use all of these, but I'm going to use some of them. So the first one I'm going to start with is the Soft Skin Smoother. And I am going to scroll in for this. Make my brush a little bit smaller. And I'm just going to gently run this over her face. And it's just going to kind of smooth out her skin. And just take care of any problem areas. Mostly with children, they don't have problematic skin. So this is a really subtle effect here. Now I'm going to go to my bright sparkly eyes and I'm going to be doing the same thing that I did before and I'm just going to use this again over her eye to add a little bit of light but I am going to turn the opacity up. And we also have a whitened teeth but we don't need to use that because you can't see her teeth. The rosy blush which I'm not going to add because she already does have a little bit of red tone in her cheeks and lash line and details which I'm not going to bother with right now either. So I'm going to go ahead and flatten the image again. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just apply a layer here of levels. And I'm just going to go ahead and turn the levels up a little bit just to add a little bit more light. Alright, so that's the finished product. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull up the original photograph here so we can see the difference. So as you can see, we've added light, we've really brightened up her eyes, and we've just added a lot of color as well, and just overall enhanced the photograph. So I'm going to move on now to another photograph. Alright, so here we have a little girl in a white dress. The first thing we're going to do is an all-in-one tint, um, and I'm going to be using the mint herb for this one. And I'm going to go ahead and hit play for the action. And as you can see, it's added a lot of really green tint. So to counteract that, what we're going to do is once we've applied the action, we're going to go to our opacity here and we're going to change it. So I'm going to lower it to about 18%, which as you can see, lowers that kind of green effect. And then I'm going to go ahead and flatten the image. The next thing I'm going to be doing is using my portrait retouch tools again, because this is also a portrait. So I'm using the same one, the basic retouch, and I'm going to hit play. So we're going to scroll in here, and I'm going to be using the bright sparkly eyes, just right on her eyes here. And I am actually going to turn the opacity up on this one. I'm going to be using the soft skin smoother. And it's hard to see on here, but it does show you where I've applied the brush. And I'm also going to use the rosy blush, but I'm going to turn the opacity down a lot on this one. And just apply a little bit more to her cheeks here. Alright, so that's all I'm going to use the portrait retouch tools for. I'm going to go ahead and flatten the image again. Now I'm going to be using the portrait retouch tools again actually and I'm going to be using the paint effect so I'm going to hit play and apply that but I am going to change the opacity of this to about 16% because I'm just looking for a subtle effect here. And I'm also going to apply a vignette. So for this one we're using the ink vignette. So go ahead and hit play. So as you can see, this image is kind of underexposed, and luckily this has actions to kind of counteract that, or exposure actions, I guess you could call them. So I'm going to be going up here to my exposure actions, and we have an underexposure and overexposure correction. For this one, underexposure correction is what we're going to use. And so basically this is telling us right here that what we need to do is to apply this to the photograph we need to go into the opacity and adjust it ourselves. So for this one we're going to change it to about 56% just to add more light. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add an all-in-one again. 
And I'm actually using an all-in-one base, so I'm going to add the punch base. First, I'm going to flatten this, though. So select the punch base and then hit play. And that's just kind of added a nice yellow effect here. All right, so let me pull up the original photograph. All right, so as you can see, we've added a lot of light to the photograph. It now has this kind of nice yellow tone to it, a warmer tone. And we've just overall enhanced the photograph and kind of really brought out the color. All right, so we're going to work on one more photograph now. So for this one, I'm going to start with the color correct brush. And I'm going to be using the slight desaturate brush again. So I'm going to hit play. It's giving me the same little box here that's telling me to use the white brush with a low opacity. I'm going to turn the opacity up this time though. I'm going to make my brush bigger. And what I'm using this desaturation brush for is just the steps here, just because they're kind of a really bright red color. And I just want to take some of that out. And I'm going to do that one more time. I'm just going to turn this up one more. As you can see, it's kind of stripping the color here. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and flatten the image. And now I'm going to be putting an all-in-one base on here. And we're going to be using the all-in-one vivid base. Hit play. And I'm going to go ahead and turn the opacity down on this just a little bit. And now I'm going to use an all-in-one tone and tint action. And this one I'm going to be using the Sour Cherry. I'm going to go ahead and hit play. So as you can see, that's added a lot to the photograph. But what we're going to do is we're going to adjust that by using the opacity again. And I'm going from 50%. I'm going to put that all the way down to 9% just so it's a subtle effect. The last thing I'm going to do with this photograph is I'm going to apply a new layer here. And I'm going to be using a levels layer. And I've selected the layer mask here. I have my brush already. And I'm just going to be using that on the little girl here. Just to kind of brighten up. Just to brighten up here. All right, so I'm going to flatten the image and I'm going to pull the original up. All right, so same as what we did before, we just enhanced the colors and the light of the photograph and kind of just brought life to the photograph altogether and really just enhanced it and polished it up. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on how to use the hide and seek Photoshop actions and you'll be able to try it out for yourself.